Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and Beyond. Welcome back. Really quickly, I wanted just to remind you to check out my website because I'm giving away for free the Home Recording Studio Shoppers List, which is a very complete list of everything you need for your very first home recording studio. And those are the people that I'm going to be talking to today, the beginners out there who are totally confused by the overwhelming amount of equipment and information that's out there. And if you really have no clue how this thing works, I really sympathize because I, I know what that's like. So what I'm going to discuss today is the big difference between a USB-based microphone and an XLR-based microphone. So really, it does boil down to how it connects to your computer. USB microphone really just uses a regular old USB cable, USB cable, into the microphone, into the computer, and you get recording, right? XLR microphones have a different type of connection, and they use a balanced signal uh, cable, which has three prongs on the bottom. And, you know, typical XLR cable looks sort of like this on one end, or definitely looks like this on one end, and this on the other end. Pretty basic thing. And then you don't go straight into the computer with that. You need an interface of some sort. So this is my interface that I got started with. This is a PreSonus AudioBox USB. So this box does connect to my Macintosh with a USB cable, but it has the XLR inputs on the front, so I can connect XLR microphones to it. So the big advantage of using XLR microphones is that, you know, as you graduate, like, you know, this is a inexpensive, I, I sort of consider this a me middle of the road microphone. This is the AKG Perception 420. It's one of the first condenser microphones that I got for my studio now. And, you know, I started out with it. I really liked it. I used it on a bunch of different things, but then I started reading and desiring more expensive or fancy or tube or whatever. I wanted different microphones. Having an XLR based connection system allows you to buy other microphones in the future and connect them to your computer, no problem. That's the limitation of the USB microphone. Not only, uh, sort of across the board, all USB microphones sort of live in that 100 to $150 range, which is you know sort of the bottom range for pr microphone prices. Um, so they're good places to start. Like, you know, I did start with this in a pair of headphones and I had so much fun recording. And if that's what you have to do, that's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with that. Now, if you do have a, a budget like to work with and you can buy more pieces of equipment right out of the beginning, well, you should be reading my home recording studio shoppers list, which is on the website. Um, and it's free. Just go sign up. It's free. But um, <laughs> having the XLR based thing just allows you to grow. Um, it allows you to buy more microphones and be able to connect them. That's it. You know, it really boils down to that. Now, the last little bit I'm going to toss out there um, is that if you're using, you know, one of these things and you're using a microphone, this is a condenser microphone, right? So make sure if you're going to buy an interface, absolutely make sure that it has phantom power on it. Um, you'll see, you know, sometimes it just says 48 volts, like plus 48 volts, um, which is what a condenser microphone needs to operate. Uh, you don't need it for, you don't need phantom power for a dynamic microphone, something like the Shure SM58 or the 57 or a dynamic microphone does not need con uh, phantom power. If you're going to buy an interface, definitely buy one with phantom power. I don't even know if anybody makes them without anymore, but it was a problem for me at the beginning. So, uh, so that's it. Phantom power for condenser microphones. Obviously, this USB microphone is a condenser microphone, and it receives its power from the USB cable straight from your computer. Actually, wait, and I'm going to say one more thing. <laughs> um, I get this question all the time. Can you connect a USB microphone to an XLR-based interface? No, you cannot do that because this is a USB microphone, and this is looking for an XLR cable, and you just they the two just don't don't work. Look at that. See? No, I'm joking. <laughs> but they don't work. You cannot plug a USB microphone into an XLR box. Just doesn't work that way. Um, so I think that's pretty much it, you guys. Please subscribe to my channel, check out the website and all that kind of stuff. But of, of course, I'm going to be part of the comment section of this video. And we discuss this stuff all week on the Facebook page and Twitter and all that stuff. So check me out wherever you like to check people out. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day. Later.